tagged out. I'm drawing number line to show the point where he was when he got tagged out. What fraction of the distance did he run? So Spence, why'd you just draw your number line? Yeah. What do we call those? See that number line up there where it tells you? And red right up here. Does anybody else know? Yes, an end point. Good. So you're working between zero and one. I love it. Keep going. Why'd you put an arrow, Francis? Good. A number line goes on forever. All right. So what are you going to do next? So What is the hole in this case? What if I told you one of these endpoints was home plate and the other endpoint was first base? How many how much distance is in between home plate and first base? Look at your problem. 30. 30 yards. So 30 yards is the hole, right? So 30 yards is your hole. What else does it tell you? Oh, do you think that's important information? So 15. Okay. So how are you going to label that on your number line? Are you sure? Are there 15 spaces between home plate and first base? No. Where did he get tucked out? Halfway. So forget about how many yards that is. Where did he get tagged out here? Good. Oh, why did you say that? Oh, I love that. What's 15 plus 15? And 30 yards is what? The whole. Good. So how would you write that on your number line? About one more minute. Are you sure though? I really liked what you were saying about how he got tagged out halfway. You could. You could. So why don't you start here? Put a tick mark there. Is that halfway? So what fraction of the way did he get? Uh-huh, which is 15 out of how many total? Is that the same as a simpler fraction? What fraction is this? One half. Oh. What's 30 divided by 2? So half of 30 is? So you could say 15 thirtieths, right? But what would be even easier? Oh, I like that. Now draw me a number box.
30 seconds, and then I'm going to have you come back. Cool. All right, I want you to cap your pens even if you're not done, and I want you to come back to the carpet. Even if you're not done, I know some of you are still working. Fifteen yards. 
And what did you say the two represented? Half. Half, because how many pieces are there? Well, there's 30 yards. How far does he get before he's tagged? 15 yards. Okay, and that's halfway good. So where on the number line does he get tagged? Oh, so like right here? Okay, I'm going to draw a tick mark right here. What would I label that fraction? What would I label that fraction, Natalie? Not 5 thirtieths. There are two different ways you could label the fraction. Yes. Ooh, I like that. 15 thirtieths. Why did you say that, Marlon? Uh-huh. <coughs> okay. Okay, so the total is 30 yards, but he only went 15 out of those 30 yards. Is that a good fraction? I'd say so. But... Is there another way that you could say that fraction that we're used to seeing? An even simpler way of saying that fraction? Think about it for a second. Danica, how else could you say 15 30 You could say one half. How come you could say one half? Because it's one half. What is half of 30, Owen? Is that the same as one half? Yeah. So how far is this distance right here? Fifteen. Fifteen. How far is this distance right here? Fifteen. Fifteen. What's the total distance from home to first? Thirty yards. Thirty yards. And he went halfway. How did you draw a number bond to represent that? How did you draw a number bond? And if you didn't get to the number bond, how would you have drawn the number bond to get to that? How would you have drawn that number bond? Julia? You, uh, so write, uh, so put one big circle. Uh, okay. And then draw four, 15 lines. Oh. Wait, oh, two lines. How come two? Because, uh, 30, uh, 15 plus 15 is 30. Okay, I'm gonna stop you. Natalie, what does this represent right here? What, what goes at the top of your number box? One. How come? Because it's a whole. Because this represents the whole, beautiful. What goes in each of these bonds? What can go in each of those bonds? Serene. One half. One half. And what else? One half. One half. What is one half plus one half? One whole. One whole. How else can you say one whole? How else can you say one whole, Devin, in this problem? One half plus one half is? Two halves. Good. There are two halves in your whole. All right. If you are not sitting by where your whiteboard is, do so now without talking. If you have a question in your hand, you can just tuck it to the side. Don't let it bother you for right now. So quietly move to your board, Zara. That was kind of a tricky problem, wasn't it? tricky problem because some of you were wondering, Devin, how in the world am I going to draw this on a number line between 0 and 1? So Natalie, can you move away from the line, please? But you did it. So sometimes, even if something isn't 1 foot or 1 meter or 1 yard, it can still represent the whole. So in this case, what was our whole? How many yards? 30, right? So it was a little trickier. Nice work. All right. 